hard to believe that something so massive could be happening beneath Niagara Falls. And we still don't know if it's real or just a rumor. Right at the brink of Niagara Falls, Ontario, a brand new attraction is looking to take visitors on a breathtaking journey like no other. Niagara Falls, located on the border of the United States and Canada, has never stopped flowing. Not for wars, not for storms, not for time itself. But now, in 2025, something terrifying is happening. <gasps> Authorities have closed the falls, citing mysterious geological shifts shaking the ground beneath one of the world's oldest and grandest landmarks. Tourists are turned away. Scientists rush to investigate, and rumors swirl. Is Niagara Falls collapsing? Or is something far more dangerous awakening beneath the surface? The news has caused ripples far and wide. Tourists halted, platforms cordoned off, and a region that depends on the steady drumbeat of visitors is left in silence. Yet, what is really happening? Rumor after rumor spreads, Tremors beneath the river, teams of geologists peering into newly revealed chasms, echoes of something stirring underfoot. For many, the question isn't simply whether Niagara Falls has been silenced, but what could cause such an action, and whether the danger is real or exaggerated. In this journey beneath the spray and spectacle, we chase the reality behind the rumors separating extraordinary history from ordinary maintenance, exploring the ever-changing nature of Niagara, and measuring our ability to live with uncertainty when it comes to the planet's most famous wonders. Chapter 1 Erosion Secrets Exposed – How Niagara Falls is Slowly Disappearing Niagara Falls has never been as eternal or unchanging as it appears. Over millennia, geological forces, slow, patient and unyielding, have sculpted this landscape. The falls as we know them are carved primarily by the erosive force of water cutting through rock left behind by ancient glaciers, with the modern cascade forming only around 12,000 years ago as meltwater poured from retreating ice sheets. To appreciate the anxiety about its future, we must remember that movement and change are built into Niagara's very existence. Scientists estimate that Niagara Falls erodes approximately one foot every 10 years, an invisible but relentless process. Since the first photographs were taken in the 19th century, the falls have shifted by more than six feet, retreating steadily upstream. This isn't just a story of slow-moving water, it's a saga in which entire chunks of continent are voluntarily handed over to the current, as soils and stones, layer by layer, year by year, are carried away. The underlying geology makes Niagara especially dynamic. The upper layer, known as the Lockport Dolo Stone, is a hard rock that forms the cap of the falls, but it sits atop easily eroded shale and limestone. As water pours over the crest, it grinds away at the vulnerable rock below the surface, leaving the upper shelf hanging until it eventually collapses, sometimes with dramatic rockfall events that can reshape the entire contour of the waterfall. Every spring freeze and thaw cycles wedge further cracks in the rock face. Winter ice forms and expands, prying apart fragile seams. And when that ice melts, Water seeps into new fissures, adding to the attrition. Even the million cubic feet per minute volume of rushing water plays its role, pummeling the base of the falls, plunging boulders and sediment into the swirling pools below. The falls you see today are not those your grandparents saw. The geographical march, though slow, is undeniable. Niagara's retreat continues but the process is closely monitored. Through the 20th and 21st centuries, elaborate engineering efforts, including flow control, water diversion, and regular maintenance, have helped slow the rate of erosion. 
balancing natural dynamics with our desire to preserve a global wonder for posterity. Chapter 2 1969 Shutdown The year Niagara Falls went silent and stunned the world. <gasps> if a quiet, tourist-free Niagara evokes a sense of unreality, it reminds the world of a remarkable chapter from living memory. 1969 the only year in history when one section of Niagara was intentionally turned off. In that summer, engineers faced growing concern about the stability of the American Falls, one of three waterfalls that together form Niagara. Decades of rockfall threatened the curtain's distinctive profile, fueled by fears that unchecked erosion might reduce the American Falls to a jumble of rapids, rather than a world-famous drop. The solution was daring. The US Army Corps of Engineers temporarily blocked the flow of water by constructing a mammoth coffer dam upstream, diverting nearly the entire Niagara River away from the precipice. For over five months, the American Falls stood nearly dry. What had once been a deafening spectacle became an eerie landscape of exposed bedrock and silent pools. Geologists descended by cable into the drained chasm using the unique opportunity to survey the structure of the rock, the evidence of past collapses, and the risk of future instability. This work offered unprecedented insights. Layers of crumbling shale, precarious boulders, fissures exposed for the first time in thousands of years. Engineers debated measures such as cement injections or steel reinforcements, but ultimately concluded that intervention would change the fall's natural appearance too severely, and instead largely left the formation to nature's course. During this period, crowds came to stare at the exposed riverbed and the newly visible skeleton of the American Falls, awestruck by a scene no previous generation had witnessed. When the diverting dam was finally dismantled and water returned, the American Falls roared anew. Changed in subtle ways, its legend now expanded by the memory of its engineered silence. This history serves as both reassurance and warning. Niagara's form is not fixed, and human intervention, while possible, will always intersect with natural processes far larger in scale and time. Chapter 3 Hidden Surveillance How Scientists Monitor Niagara Falls 24-7 for Disaster in subsequent decades, the management and monitoring of Niagara Falls have only grown more sophisticated. Today, a variety of local, state and international authorities, including the Niagara Parks Commission and engineering teams, oversee the falls, using a mix of tradition and technology. Routine maintenance and cleaning are part of the seasonal cycle. Each spring, Water flow over the Horseshoe Falls is purposely diverted for short periods, such as the scheduled maintenance on April 1, 2025, allowing access to the rock face and riverbed before resuming full flow the next day. These scheduled pauses are planned well in advance, carried out with engineering precision, and serve both safety and conservation. Around the clock, a network of sensors, cameras, and seismographs monitors everything from water volume and speed to subtle vibrations and shifts in the rock. Real-time data is fed to control centers, where experts can assess potential risks or emerging instability. Advances in LiDAR scanning, drone photography, and non-destructive testing allow for continuous updates on the cliff's condition, the plunge pool's depth, and the status of infrastructure on both banks. Reports occasionally surface about changes in water color, strange tremors, or irregularities in the flow. Authorities routinely investigate such claims, using both scientific instrumentation and on-site inspection. So far, as of June 2025, there is no credible evidence from any official body of unusual water discoloration or unexplained seismic activity at Niagara Falls. Despite the swirl of rumors, the vigilance never ends. From watching for small rockfalls that could hint at larger problems to frequent surveys of the riverbank and embankments, each step is taken not only for tourist safety, but for the preservation of the falls themselves. 
Chapter 4 Collapse Incoming The Terrifying Truth About Niagara's Geological Myths <gasps> The notion that Niagara Falls could collapse suddenly, or that a geological shift might trigger an abrupt transformation, makes for gripping headlines. Major rockfall events have shaped the falls before. <gasps> Historic collapses, such as the one in 1931 that sent thousands of tons of rock into the river at the American Falls, temporarily altered its profile and generated concern among officials. Others, less dramatic, occur over decades as gravity and erosion pry away massive slabs from the faces of the Horseshoe, Bridal Veil, and American Falls. Yet, the concept of a sudden, catastrophic loss of the falls as we know them is not supported by geological evidence. Instead, their evolution is typically gradual. <sighs> Even when collapses occur, they affect sections of the rock lip or table, not the entire waterfall system. Engineers and geologists have invested decades in modeling risks, and the overwhelming consensus is that ongoing monitoring provides enough warning to mitigate immediate hazards. Still, Nature always holds surprises. The very existence of Niagara, formed at the end of the last ice age, reminds us that nothing in geology is unchangeable. The possibility of accelerated erosion or unusual weakening cannot be completely ruled out, but thanks to constant measurements and rapid response protocols, any significant destabilization is likely to be managed before it endangers lives or the stability of the falls overall. Rumours of mysterious, geological upheaval should be viewed in context. While the land beneath Niagara continues to shift, the likelihood of a sudden, silent collapse is remote, and there is currently no scientific basis for panic. Chapter 5 Niagara Falls' Hidden Power Legends, Myths, and the Fight to Preserve It the idea of Niagara Falls being closed, whether temporarily for maintenance or allegedly for a geological anomaly, inevitably stirs powerful feelings. Local economies depend on the uninterrupted arrival of visitors, whose spending supports jobs and civic life in both Canada and the United States. The region's culture and daily rhythms are inseparable from the falls' presence. When barriers go up for planned water diversion or unscheduled inspection, the atmosphere shifts. Walkways are quieter, businesses lose foot traffic, and communities anxiously watch for signs that the world's attention and their livelihoods may not return. This vulnerability is felt even more acutely in an era of rapid media cycles, where a single viral clip or speculative headline can spook travelers, investors, and policymakers. Public communication is thus crucial. Authorities must explain not just the reasons for closures, but the limits of what is known. For instance, emphasizing that routine maintenance is not a sign of imminent rupture, and that while nature operates on vast timescales, modern engineering can mitigate most foreseeable dangers. Inside the park, teams of highly trained geologists and engineers keep diligent watch during any period of altered water flow. Sensor data are checked and cross-checked, Inspections are carried out, and should the need arise, plans exist for staggered reopening or longer shutdowns based on clear evidence, not speculation. Chapter 6 When the water stops What really happens after Niagara Falls runs dry? <gasps> Beneath all the anxiety about change or risk lies a deeper fascination with what Niagara represents. More than just a tourist site, it is an ever-evolving symbol of nature's freedom and grandeur, a living reminder that every era faces its own relationship with the environment. Niagara's legend is layered. For indigenous peoples, it has long been a place of profound spiritual significance, inspiring myths and ceremonies. For industrialists, it fueled dreams of harnessing water for power and progress, for scientists and artists, it serves as both laboratory and muse, a place where one can witness the battle of elements playing out in real time. Preservation is more than a technical question. 
Each decision, whether to reinforce a ledge, close access temporarily, or simply observe, balances the practical needs of safety and economy with the intangible values of awe, identity, and history. The moments the falls stand still, whether for maintenance or misperception, are chances to reflect on what draws us back to this place again and again. Whenever the river flow is resumed, be it after routine maintenance or after the historic dry out of 1969, the return is never exactly as it was before. Subtle changes in channel shape, minor shifts in rock, and the smallest rearrangements beneath the surface reshape the cascading water's path and the way we perceive the falls. In 1969, the restoration of water was a public event, met with curiosity and relief. The falls reclaimed their roar, but the knowledge that such forces could be manipulated lingers on as a cautionary lesson. Any closure or alteration today, for whatever cause, will also be met with global scrutiny and plenty of questions. Should new shifts be detected, be they cracks, minor subsidence or small-scale collapses, water can again be rerouted or slowed and the lessons of the past ensure a measured science-based response. Chapter 7 Final warning. Is Niagara Falls facing its most dangerous future yet? The truth is this. Niagara Falls remains both powerful and fragile, shaped by ancient forces but stewarded by human hands. Modern technology and intergovernmental cooperation have made it safer but its future is never entirely predictable. Every day, the river reminds us that even wonders so iconic are vulnerable, not just to time and water, but to the way we manage our fears and expectations. <sighs> Regular communications keep the public informed, calming unwarranted fears while honoring the fall's capacity to surprise, both in spectacle and in science. Until the waters resume their familiar course, or until the next measured change is announced, the story of Niagara remains as much about our own yearning for certainty as it is about geology itself. In the end, the enduring lesson is this. Nature is not fixed, and the future, like the ceaseless movement of Niagara, is always in motion. And what moment in the story of the falls leaves you most amazed or uneasy? Join the conversation below. And if you want to follow more stories about our planet's wildest phenomena, like, subscribe, and share. Until the river flows again, stay curious and remember, in every silence, nature writes its next chapter.